Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Uber Patrick, and welcome to another gameplay commentary from me. And this time it's gonna be a little different than what I normally do. Normally, I talk about um, just the game in general, things going on with the game. And with a new game, there's a lot of things to talk about. But this time, I'm gonna be talking about Hardpoint, which I guess is still pretty much a new thing. But I'm gonna be telling you guys how to play it and explain there's a couple different ways to play it. Now, I'll first start off by saying that you mostly want to be playing this game type, like you're predicting where the hard points are going to be and you're getting there early, and you're just um, pretty much holding that thing down and then deviating from the hard point. But in this instance, as you can see, my guys are very gung ho, as I guess, I guess you could say, about getting to that hard point. So considering that, I just basically want to be playing the Slayer role of just um, basically cutting off any extra guys of theirs getting into the hard point. As you can see I'm doing that, my team is in there. I am just trying to cut off these two guys. Unfortunately, the sniper comes around looking for me. But um, my C4 is looking for him right there. Take him out. And they get in there, but I realize that my guys are going to get in there. So I just want to hold down this corner because I know that once my guys clear them out, they're going to be sweeping them out. And, you know, there's really no way to know which way to play this game type except by analyzing the way your guys are playing. Because I play pubs normally by myself. I usually play uh, solo, and basically that means you just need to assess the way that they are playing. And I realize that my guys are just jumping in there, so I don't really need to go rushing in there myself. Especially when I'm going for high kill streaks that can be very beneficial to my team. I'm going for the VSAT uh, dogs and swarm, as you can see all extremely helpful for a game like Hardpoint if you can pull it off. Um, but it's not too crazy if you just play the objective well you can get those kind of skill streaks a lot faster. But right now I'm actually not playing in the objective, I'm playing around it so it's going to take a little bit longer. And I'm just trying to pick dudes off and um, I see that they're spawning over here because our guys are taking them out. So I just want to play really safe because I'm one kill away from my V set here. And I take this guy out right now and I got the V-set. Now it's clear as, uh, it's quite clear where they're coming from. So, I'm just trying to find a good cutoff route right now, because that is essentially what you want to do. And fortunately enough, it's on a good map, such as, um, I can't, wow, I really cannot think of what this map is called, but it's not a big deal. I just like the fast-paced action of it. And, um, because there's a lot of maps for hardpoint that are actually very slow and they don't play well. And I have a hard time playing hardpoint on a consistent basis. I really don't like it that much. I don't think it's as fun as Kill Confirmed. Like the game the game type introduced from Modern Warfare 3. Just because this is a little slow sometimes. But um, if you're fortunate to get a decent map, this game can... Uh, the, can't talk today. Um, this game type can be uh, actually quite a pleasure. And I see that my guys are around here. I'm just trying to get a good cutoff area. And to be honest, when the hard point is where it is in uh, this map, I have a very, very good advantage point when I'm playing from this building because I have that door over there, the door behind me, and then I have that window in the cash room, as they call it. And from there, I can just pretty much cut up anyone coming through. And I call my dogs in, and I realize that they're coming in through that building, so I kind of want to step back and use a different cutoff point, but essentially the same area. And I can effectively do that from here. As guys are jumping out the window, I can just kill them out the window, and it basically just cut it down to two areas I have to look at, instead of three. So you basically just want to step back whenever you need to. Don't feel like you need to just hold down an area. And um, no one's really attending this death machine, so I go ahead and grab it, um, which is pretty awesome. Because <laughs> I really don't go for um, death machines. I don't I usually go for a bit higher kill streaks, but um, the death machine is very fun to have if you can pick one up. And there you go, I call my swarm in. And you want to notice also that I don't like to overlap my swarm with my dogs too much on a 6v6 map, because on a 6v6 map, the problem with that is is your dogs are going to do enough work on their own. They're going to just destroy them enough. And I probably shouldn't even overlap it as much as I did there, because my dogs probably could have done even more work, and then I could have called my swarm in. But I did overlap a little bit. But with 6v6 especially, and when you're not playing Ground War, you really want to have um, a little bit of space just because 
there's really no point with six people on their team. Like, the dogs are just going to be running down their spawns regardless. And your swarm doesn't need any help from the dogs. The your swarm is going to do just as well no matter what. The swarm is just going to beat all the kills to the dogs, essentially. And it's going to make your dogs do not as well. As you can see, my dogs really didn't do anything at the last point of that. And I get taken out there. And that's pretty much it. I go on a 47 kill streak. And uh, we pretty much win. As you can see, we're 50 points away. I get sniped again. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. You were Patrick. Like it, subscribe it if you did like it. And um, I'll see you guys later.